Oh, well, let's let stage two begin. Okay, he can take damage. Okay, rune is no longer usable here. So I'm on my own for this part. I'm not sure if I'm hurting him right now. He he's flinching, but it looks like he he's not taking any damage. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Think he can out tap me? He's wrong. Oh, oh wait, he's out there. What is he doing it? Oh no. Whoa. Come on, this way. Oh! That's right. Out of the way. Dash, dash. Oh! Oh, he uppercutted me. Cool. No, I couldn't get away because I was in the air. Meteor Strike doesn't go far enough. Ah, oh, and I dash right into that uppercut. Whoa, get away from his whirlwind. Shoot, I keep not sure how to dodge that. Gotta say though, this abyssal armor seems to be doing wonders. I'm not even having to use Chaos Form because I don't want to waste it. I'll use it when I get close to death. Oh! Come on, tap tap! Come on! No! I can do this! Yes! Oh! Dash away. Where's he? Oh, he's out there again. We're playing this game, are we? A little bit of dodge rock. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh. Yeah, he can. Okay. And he's gonna charge at me, and I'm gonna dash out of the way. Try and come in behind, and oh. He's blocking. It seems like a kid, there's like times when you can get hits off, and the rest of the time he's just gonna block. What was that? Oh. Oh, dash away. Where is he? Where is he to? Oh, there he is. Dash away. And come in for the attack. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. No. Yes. Just go down. You have taught me something, Avatar. Sometimes duty must be cast aside to do what must be done. It is not for duty that I kill you now. Uriel. Uriel. Reap what you have sown, betrayer. The seventh seal. <laughs> you had to know it was a one way ticket. Council. They knew you'd never play executioner because of your precious honor. They let you take the fall. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name. And you did. No! Patience, whore. I've got some for you, too. I'll take that. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. Like not going back in your little cage. <laughs> it's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. <laughs> What's so damn funny? Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. I'm laughing at yours. 
Next sacramentum. The death oath is complete. Hell God, bitch! What did you do? happen you what I would do that's why you spared me no then why because I would not have the last of heaven's honor die with its champion all debts are repaid the duty I uphold it may call me to raise my sword against you and if that day comes I won't hesitate you will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. Oh. My God. Goosebumps. Goosebumps right now. Oh, I... D Darksiders 2, you cannot come fast enough. I will... I, oh, day one. Day one. Oh, when he when he said, not alone, I was just like, what? No, what? And then I seen the three in the back, and it was just like, oh, yes! All four of the horsemen. Oh, what are they going to do with that? Are you going to be able to swap between characters? Or is it just like, they're going to be there helping you? Is that gonna be co-op? Oh, so oh, there's probably there's probably like things like there's probably if I went and looked it up right now I could probably find out. But whatever, I'll leave it. People will probably leave comments about what what's been confirmed and whatnot. Oh, well that was that was awesome. I'm glad I didn't watch Darksiders 2 trailer yet because I was afraid it might spoil something and it probably might. I'm gonna go watch that right after this. And the Watcher, the Watcher got what he deserves. Stupid Watcher. Don't forget who holds the leash. Uh, that that was that was awesome. That was an amazing ending. I, I, did, I don't know. Did, what did you guys think? I, I to me that was just I, I cold chills all the way through like goosebumps. It was it was crazy. It's just like oh man. I just, I, I, I'm just, I don't even know what to say now. I'm just so excited. And it's just like, oh, and there's no more. I have to wait until Darksiders 2 comes out. I'm not even sure when. Oh, man, that was, that was fantastic. See, this is why I like doing single player type storyline adventures. Because then you get awesome story like this, as well as my commentary. Personally, I, I'm, I, I just, it's just fantastic. I really enjoyed this LP. It was, it was a lot of fun. Now, granted, it was done over like five or six recording sessions, not over a couple months, but still, it was just, I don't know, it was interesting. I, I'm, I'm, I might try this again. I, I don't know, I don't know. But the, by the time this part comes out, they'll, it'll be like a month from now. But yeah, it, so there's, there's disadvantages and advantages, but man, just fantastic. I don't know, I just, I, I don't know if you, like, again, you guys leave comments, uh, did, you, did you guys enjoy this? Was, like, because I, 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 that was just amazing. Just, 
I, I could not get enough of this game. It was so much fun. It was just great gameplay, interesting. There was never a down point. It was just always wanting me to come. I always wanted to come back for more. And so in that respect, it was great that I did it in like a, the like five or six recording sessions. I think it took me two weeks to do it though because of all the editing and stuff in between and having to do other videos but even still like two weeks to complete this game and it was just like every every like couple days I was just like oh I want to play more oh it's awesome do I want to just continue past these credits now or do I want to just sit here and wait and be continue talking about how awesome I thought that was these credits might take a while actually seeing as how how big of a game this is Yeah, I don't. I'm sort of at a loss for words. I wonder if there'll be anything after the credits? Probably not. Ugh, oh, just. So awesome! Still, I'm still thinking about it. It's just. Not alone. And then just three. And I can't do War's voice, but you just. And three come in. And just. And all debts were paid, and she seems to be on her side, kind of, but if any, if someone calls out against me, then she'll probably be fighting me next time again, and it's just, ah. Oh. PC team. There's lots of credits. Um, and then we never saw Samuel again. And, but he did say when we last saw him that we'll we'll meet again, so Samael will probably be in the next one as well. And he's free now. We freed him in this one, so now he's going to be completely on his own. Volgrim seems to just be Volgrim. He's just hanging out being a freelancer. So he'll probably be around next time as well. Ah, seven seals broken, so now the four horsemen have officially been summoned. Oh. This looks to be the end. Oh, yeah, just back to the title screen. Oh, well, I think I said all I, I, I had to say. That was that was fantastic. Um, I had so much fun with this. I don't know, it's just excellent, excellent game. Yeah, Darksiders 2, can't wait. But for now, uh, this is Tolhi signing out. Later, guys. Not quite. Um, I did want to touch on quickly uh, Darksiders 2. I ended up going and looking it up uh, after I finished uh, that last recording. And then I edited the other the, the video I just uh, just recorded a second ago. And I, I sort of thought, well, I'll tack on the end of here. Um, the Basically the gist of what I read on Darksiders 2 as of right now. Um, gather up two of these guys and try this affliction ability. Oh wow. How long does that last for? Oh, not very long. Anyway, so the basic gist of it boils down to that in Darksiders 2 it actually happens at the exact same time in the timeline as Darksiders 1. So it's just like an uh, sort of like an alternate story to what's going on here. Not alternate, sorry. It's like a, a, a sort of a different story that's happening at the same time as this one. And so basically it, it instead of following war, it follows war's brother death. And from what I was reading on the plot, it seems like um, the council informs the other three horsemen shortly after war is sent to Earth that uh, that war has been sent there and he was tried and found guilty of starting the apocalypse or whatever. And death is like, oh no, 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 no. And pretty much this figures that that's impossible and he has to be being set up because uh, he knows his brother war is one of the most loyal of the group and it always follows the rules or something like that and so basically from from what I was reading it sounds like this whole story is based on death going to like this area in between heaven and hell I can't remember the name of it um, and basically g trying to call in favors from powerful beings to sort of help war out to get him uh, get his name cleared um, which sounds interesting. Uh, I, I'm disappointed that it's not going to continue from the cliffhanger that they left off here. 
but this sounds good as well. Also, the gameplay sounds better uh, in the fact that they're making it a longer and bigger game um, instead of having just like a, a sort of a one major goal, which this one have, which was to get the four hearts. Um, instead, the Dark Siders two will have um, cities and small like town hubs or something where you can get side quests and things. And the, I was reading on one of the posts or on one of the wikis that the the actual uh, one of the town hubs will actually have as many dungeons in it in that one town hub as Darksiders had alone. So it's definitely going to be a much bigger game and uh, should be interesting. But I just wanted to quickly touch on Darksiders 2 and sort of oh, miss that just barely. Um, just thoughts I guess because I, I, I looked it up and then I was like oh that's not what I was expecting and so I just wanted to voice my opinions on it but yeah so it looks it sounds like it's gonna be good but I, I certainly hope they do a Darksiders 3 um, where they do continue from this point because I would like to see war and death and the other horsemen of the apocalypse all fighting to like you know I don't know bring down everyone that's gonna be chasing war I don't know, it just sounds like an interesting story, and a, it's sort of a huge cliffhanger. And it's just like, oh no, the next game won't be based on that. And it's like, ah, well you better do a game on it eventually. But we'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, anyways, now this is totally signing out. Later, guys.